right, we're back in here for today's review of the Camco 41545. Now I've been using this thing for oh, roughly a year now and I haven't really had any issues with it. Now what prompted this particular video is a hilarious review by the couple at the Fit RV. Um, they did a, uh, I think it was a three day excursion with it and everything went well for them. It was the dumping portion that was a little bit uh, unpleasant for them. So what I would like to do right now is show you how easy I've been dumping this thing for the last year. Now granted, I don't use it every single day, um, but when I do use it, we go out for a few days, for three days, whatever the case may be. So I've got some food coloring and I previously rinsed this thing out real good. So even though it's been in use, I'm not worried about there being any uh, residue that will come out of it. So, right, so now one of the uh, more hysterical parts of that video that was fun to watch was um, that they had to dump it eight times and he's standing out there with a hose spraying the sucker off and whatnot. Now that is hysterical to me because I've been, when I started dumping this, it was about, mm, I probably did dump it about four times before I was able to get it clean. Um, now I dump it twice. And this here, um, I can't find my other bottle for some reason. It's a, it's a little bit bigger. Um, ideally, I like to get like a, a, one of the dollar three liter drinks from the dollar, uh, dollar store and you know let the kids drink all that and then I just use one of those because um, with this per dump, I'll fill this twice. Um, with the bigger, like the three liter, I just have that one, dump it in and I'm done. So it doesn't take much. Now the, the biggest thing uh, for these particular travel toilets, cassette toilets, portable toilets, the biggest, 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 biggest thing is that you, you use a lot of water when you're using it. So even if you're just going number one, give that sucker a couple flushes. Um, if you're going number two, you gotta use like, I use like six flushes. I basically flush and flush and flush until a lot of the residue is off the bowl. Take some toilet paper, wipe it down, flush a couple more times so I don't have to get my hands down where that toilet paper is. No big deal. So that I believe is the biggest impact to dumping this dumping this toilet and having it done in, in two, uh, two dumps into a regular flushing. All right, so now I'm gonna get off the toilet. Ha, pun intended. And this particular one, bring this down here. All right, this particular one, there's a lever on the back, pops right up. You have the top section that pops right off. Oh, this is a really good time to talk about this. So in, in the heat, um, you get a lot of pressure that builds up in these and um, it can not have the best odor if it's not really taken care of. Um, what I mean by taken care of is you put a glove on, get some Vaseline, make sure the seal is still good if it's say you use one or if it's been around for a while. Uh, I do that every once in a while. Now, <laughs> the other really fun part about this, about using these toilets is because of just general atmospheric pressure changes, you get, I don't even know what to call it. It's like this little splatter that pops up. So you can see on the camera here, you can see how I've got some water that's kind of resting on the top. Um, now granted, that's a little bit more water than normal, just because when I was moving it, the water was, I accidentally got a little bit on the butt. It's a great illustration for the amount of water that you have on there. Um, so when this slides open, if you don't do it slow, the air pressure in here, phew, so if you're sitting on it, you only do it once, that's for certain. So what you gotta do is, is when you go to sit down, just take this lever, move it out real slow. You can even see there, I got just a teeny little bit of splatter. Just move it out real slow, the water will drain down into the toilet. It's no big deal at all. 
um, just because of the pressure changes. And that pressure change is a good thing. It's a really, really good thing that you have that, that spray up because that means it's working. Um, if you didn't have some sort of pressure buildup, that would mean that all those fumes are just getting sucked right out and it's, it's not a good thing. So, um, anyway, I'm done with that portion of it. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. It actually has a bench button that you can use after you swing this out to dump it. Uh, while you're dumping, you can push the bench button or um, after you bring it inside before you open that up, if you're, if you're worried about that, you can push the bench button, release some of that pressure. So I'm gonna fill the bottle and put some food coloring in it. Uh, see if we can get a good consistency with it and put some green waste in here so that I can show you how to dump this in two dumps. So I feel that that's roughly where it's normally at under use. There's one more here. Now, while I'm cleaning this up, I'll take a moment to talk to the other gender. Any ladies out there? Feminine products. So my wife has used this and has had to use feminine products while using it. No problem at all. Um, dumps right out of this tube. No big deal. Um, for you men out there, man up, dump it. It's a thing of life. You'll see it drop out into the bowl. You can flush while you're dumping. You probably won't even see it. So it's no big deal. All right, so we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna do one regular dump. We're gonna. Clear this sucker out so that it doesn't have anything in it. Pushing the vent button prevents splatter. You can see some of that toilet paper waste coming out. No problem. Put it over. All right. Splatter. Yes, you'll have splatter. I purposely wasn't flushing it to demonstrate everything coming out. Got a little bit of splatter. Normally, flush it and dump it. All right, now to live up to my promise, two of these water bottles and a dump. And the next step is very important for getting this cleaned out thoroughly. So let's do that. Okay. So, I got a little bit of splatter on top, so I'm gonna wipe this up for the next part because this part is an important part. So, you gotta take the jug. You can't just put the water in, dump it out. This part is important for getting it cleaned in two rinses. Shake the crap out of it. Ha, pun intended. That'll break up chunks. That'll break up soft the stuff that might have gotten stuck to the side. Okay. We just shook it. Nice little shake for good measure right before we dump it. Now. Now 
There you go. So you can see there's a little bit of a hue of green. So what does that mean for real life usage? Yes, you'll get a little hue of brown. But not much. So, next, we dump again. Water in, shake it up. of it and I had clear water coming out afterwards. Um, the food coloring is a little bit of an under exaggeration of the actual dumping process but you get the idea for how easy it is to clean up. Shaking it is the biggest thing. Sure I'd probably have to dump it 10 times if I didn't shake it because the residue just wouldn't come off and wouldn't dump out. Um, if you're dumping a toilet there's gonna be crap. So it's not like you're getting one of these thinking it goes down the magic shoot somewhere and you never have to think of it again. Uh, you bought it for a reason, so use it and just dump it. The bathroom, pretty much every bathroom has a fan. Turn it on while you're dumping it, it'll help. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, again, water while you're using it. Uh, that's the biggest thing. It may be heavy when you carry it in after a few days of use, but it'll be totally worth it cleaning it out. There will be stench. Even, even with me cleaning it out regularly and keeping it keeping it nice, after you use it, of course there's gonna be a stench. You have water coming out of a container, dumping into another toilet, it's stirring up smells. It's gonna smell. So flush the toilet while you're dumping it. Keep any of the valves and the, the, the tube closed while you can. Um, that is going to be the biggest impact. It's flushing it while you're dumping it. So, anyway, that is a, a little review for you. Other than that, I think that's about it. So, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll answer them as best I can. Um, you can you know, like the video for flushing down green stuff down the toilet. That was a good time, right? <laughs> and uh, go ahead and subscribe so you get notifications on any upcoming videos. So we'll catch you guys later. Bye.